Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m over 3 to the power of 6 equals to 2 to the power of 6. And here we will solve this problem for all the values of m. So here first we uh, simplify the terms and here we can just break this exponent and we write this exponent separately on both of these values and it will be written as m to the power of 6 divided by 3 to the power of 6 equals to 2 to the power of 6 and further in the next step we move this 3 to the power of 6 to the right hand side it will be written as m to the power of 6 equals to 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 3 to the power of 6 so here uh, you see that we need to combine the exponent of these two terms so it will be written as 2 multiplied by 3 and its whole exponent is 6 and in the left hand side we have m to the power of 6. So if we uh, make some simplifications here so we write it as m to the power of 6 equals to 2 3 is a 6 and we have 6 to the power of 6. So further we move the 6 to the power of 6 in the left hand side and it will be written as m to the power of 6 minus 6 to the power of 6 equals to 0. So you see here this is 6th order equation or now here in the next step we will find all the 6th uh, root of the given equation. Uh, so now here further we rewrite this equation as in this form. So we have this is m to the power of 6. So that uh, we rewrite this as here you have this is m to the power of 6 and we write it as m cubed and its whole square minus we write the 6 to the power of 6 as 6 cubed and its whole square and this is equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, we need to apply here the nice uh, algebraic formula and you know that if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this algebraic formula you see here in the above equation we have the value of a is m cubed the value of b is 6 cubed so here we will substitute the values of a and b in the below formula uh, so after substituting the values of a and b we write our above equation as uh, this is m cubed minus 6 cubed into m cubed plus 6 cubed and this is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we will uh, divide this equation into the two cases so that the first case is we write m cubed minus 6 cubed equals to 0 and the second case is we write m cubed plus 6 cubed equals to 0. And now here we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. So here we can solve these two equations and for the values of m. Uh, now here first we need to focus in the uh, first equation. So in the first equation we will apply here uh, the cubic formula. This cubic formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So here you see that our a is m and our b is 6. So we will just substitute the values of a and b in the below formula so that our equation number 1 is implies that. Uh, so we have first we have a minus b the value of a is m minus b is 6 into a square. So our a is m square plus a b again our a is m b is 6 plus b square so b is 6 square and this whole equation equals to 0. Now we divide this equation into the two cases so that the first case is we write m minus 6 equals to 0 and the second case is we write m square plus 6m plus the 6 square equals to 36 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we get the first root of the uh, given equation is m is equals to 6. This is the first real root of the given equation uh, and now here in order to find the other roots uh, we need to solve the uh, second quadratic equation uh, so here we can uh, just solve this quadratic equation so first we can uh, write the coefficients of this equation and we have a equals to 1 b equals to 6 and c equals to 36 and now we can apply the quadratic formula to solve this equation so here first we state the quadratic formula as 
m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. And now we substitute the values of a, b and c. The value of b is 6. It will be written as minus 6 plus minus square root of b square. So b is 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 36 and it is divided by 2 times of a. So here our a is equals to 1. And now in the next step we have m is equals to this is minus 6 plus minus square root of this 6 square and 6 square equals to 36 minus this is 4 times of 36 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. And now you see here we have uh, 36 be the common term from here so we will take common 36 and we get the remaining values are 1 minus 4 divided by 2 and now and next in the is next step we have minus 6 plus minus we know that the square root of 36 equals to 6 and this is 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 and minus 3 equals to square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2 so here here we break this fraction and it will be written as m equals to this is minus 6 over 2 plus minus 6 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2. This is 2 3s are 6, 2 3s are 6 and we get our m is equals to minus 3 plus minus 3 times of square root of 3 into iota. These are the other two complex roots of the given equation and from first equation we have these three roots which we get here from equation number 1. And now here we need to move from equation number 2 so that here we can copy down equation number 2 here. So equation number 2 is that m cubed plus 6 cubed equals to 0. And now we can apply this cubic formula here. If you have a cubed plus b cubed equals to a plus b times of a square minus ab plus b square. According to this formula we write our above equation as in this form so you have first m plus 6 times of m square minus m times of 6 plus 6 square and this whole equation equals to 0 so again we divide this into the two cases we have m plus 6 equals to 0 and m square minus 6m plus 36 equals to 0 so we get the second fourth root of the given equation is m equals to minus 6 and here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so here we write the coefficients of this equation it is a equals to 1 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 36 and we can state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is our quadratic formula and now here we need to again substitute the values of a, b and c here so that uh, uh, when you put these values we obtain m is equals to b is minus 6 so this minus times of minus becomes plus 6 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 6 minus 6 square becomes plus 36 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 36 and it is divided by 2 times of a. So further in the next step we have m is equals to 6 plus minus here we take common 36 and the square root of 36 becomes 3 and we get 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 it is divided by 2 and finally we get here our m is equals to here we break this fraction this is 6 over 2 plus minus 6 into here we can uh, break this square root and we write it as square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2. Here we parallel break this fraction and we get 2 3s are 6, 2 3s are 6 and finally we got the other uh, two complex roots are 3 plus minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota. So that from second equation we have uh, the second three roots are m equals to minus 6. These are the other three roots which we get from equation number 2. This is the total 6 root and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.